Hello Fiber friends, welcome to KB Fibers. I'm sorry, it is Wednesday morning. It has been such a crazy busy week. I haven't been able to get on and record my YouTube. <laughs> Miss Mia back there cleaning herself. Um, so let me hop right into it. Um, I got a new weaving loom. It's a table model of the Voyager, which is um, an eight shaft loom. And so I wanted to do some practice. But the only read on it right now is a 15 dent. I would prefer something more like a 10 or a 12 um, to do thicker yarns. But I did weave um, some dish towels or hand towels. This is the smallest one. Um, I did have them measured once upon a time. And I don't think I wrote, I didn't write the measurements down. I'm so bad, so bad. So it, they are all a total of nine and a half inches wide and they are uh, various lengths. Um, but there's, I did a nice long, um, it can, I see the pattern in here. It's so cool, it looks so nice. I love it so much. So I did a navy blue warp and I took more of a teal blue for the weft and I did this, um, beautiful twill pattern. It's my first time doing a twill pattern on the eight shaft. Well, it's the first time using eight shaft. And then I just rolled the edges over and sewed them through my sewing machine. So I have a total of four towels. Like I said, they are all various lengths. So this one is shorter than that one. Well, these two are almost, well, no, this one's a little bit longer. So there's a total of four of them. Here's the third. They're all the same pattern. Um, this one's the longest. This one will make a great dish towel. Um, <laughs> so I'm very excited to do that. It's my first time taking like size 10 cotton thread and weaving them into towels. Um, so I'm going to see and do some testing and see how well these hold up. They're not as thick as your regular type of dish towel. Um, maybe they would make better napkins. Who knows? Um, but let's see. Out of the thread that I used, uh, 5.68 ounces of thread, equaling to 692.68 yards. Um, and they're pretty reversible, minus the sewn edges. So I'm just going to kind of fold them back up and set them back down over here so they are out of the way. And now I can use them. They've been washed once. And I had an issue with one of them. I think it was the shortest one where I had sewn one edge the opposite way as the other. So I had to uh, use a seam ripper, rip my seam out, and fix it. <laughs> so, you know, we all have our issues. We all do silly things like that from time to time, right? Um, and then as you know, I had made that light blue, um, hat from last week. So I did finish the scarf to go with it. This is also the two by two rib. They've bo both been, I got something on there. <laughs> there we go. I got it off. Um, <laughs> distractions. <laughs> There's a fuzz on my scarf. I gotta get it off. Anyway. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I finished the set. This is ready to go. It's all been washed. I'm just gonna shove it in its baggie now with the label. Um, the scarf I used. Sorry, let me finish messing with the bag. The I used 3.67 ounces for the scarf, equaling out to 185. 0.8 yards in the making of that and I'm so excited to finish this one this is the double knit scarf that I made look at all coiled up all coiled up um I'm so excited about this one because this is all 100% hand spun yarn from two years ago totally reversible it is I don't know measurements measurements are crazy um, let's see, it is eight and a half inches wide, and I don't know how long, plenty long enough for me, for who it's for. It is 40, 
40 something. Forty six inches long. <laughs> that works for me. So eight and a half by forty six inches long. Let me wind up my tape measure here. Good enough. You know, close enough. So let me hold this up and show you. This has the light colored background and like um, this poppy here is half blue, half orange. On the other side, it's the opposite. So it's like the blue, green, orange on the back side with the lighter colored, the lighter colored poppy on this side. Um, nice and warm and thick. Oh my gosh, I can wrap it around. If I need more, I got more. <laughs> so warm and cozy, so warm and cozy. I love this scarf so much and I can use it now. <laughs> I used uh, 8.47 ounces of uh, hand spun yarns, so 517.43 yards to make that. Oops, this keeps falling off my shoulder. <laughs> Probably because I keep moving it around, right? So anyway, this is a lovely scarf. I like it a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, so let me give me my weekly totals. And we'll move on from there, won't we? Um, let's see, 17.82 yards for this week, or last week, I should say. Um, 1,395.92 yards for the week. Um, let's see, 45.12 ounces for the year so far. 3,340.39 yards so far for the year. And those totals take me to 2.82 pounds and uh, 1.9 miles. Very cool. <laughs> I think those are pretty good numbers. I'm gonna keep, still keep track of all those things. I had something happen this weekend. I went to a physical knit meeting, a group of ladies that get together, I think like every other Saturday. Um, they're finally getting back into the groove of getting back together. We, um, got the library on the north end of town is letting us use their meeting room so that's fantastic because we grew from 50 members to a little over 100 members so it's great we have a lot of new people learning how to knit and crochet um <clears throat> i taught two people to crochet on saturday and then um also i had a lady contact me about um she has a couple of sheep that her son had for 4-H and she had them shorn and the place that she normally sold the fleece to is no longer in business. Um, that, that would, I'm not going to say who it is, but it kind of makes me sad because um, that's the closest mill to me and I would have preferred to take my fiber to her than where I took it, but is what it is. So we'll, we'll see how things go. Um, anyway, anyway, so I had gotten, uh, four bags of fleece from her. One of the four bags had wet wool in it, so I couldn't put it out in the garage to freeze. I couldn't, you know, put it in the shadow wood freeze, and then it would just go bad sitting there soaking in water. So instead I put it in my bathtub <laughs> And I put it in, in mesh bags, and those mesh bags are in buckets. So I've I've washed that fiber about seven times. The water is still coming out a little dirty, um, but a lot cleaner than what it was. And there is a lot of uh, straw and hay and <laughs> little sticks and little bits of things that I'm going to need to pick out of it. I've already done uh, six hours of picking yesterday, and yeah, about broke my back, but you know, <laughs> is what it is. So that's what I've been preoccupied with, trying to get that wool processed enough. It's on racks now drying, so hopefully it will dry well. Um, being winter time, not ideal time to do this kind of thing, because I can't um, clamp it between my my two screens and put it outside to dry because 
it's just not gonna it's gonna take forever for it to dry sitting in my bathtub but you know what <laughs> what else can I do I don't know kind of at a loss but the type of sheep that it is is a south down um, <clears throat> we'll see how things go with this I'm hoping to uh, do more I've been doing about 20 minutes of spinning every day I did not get my 20 minutes done yesterday because between processing that fiber and streaming and making dinner and going to adoration, I was exhausted. I lay down and I was, I was out. <laughs> so uh, I'm trying to play catch up now. Uh -uh. <clears throat> Obviously, I still haven't had breakfast yet, but I will get there. Um, thank you all for watching my channel. I'll try to get more of my Twitch uploaded I did not get last week's uploaded so I have I have a lot of work to do <laughs> I finally got my tax forms however because um well made some money from twitch and I need to claim that in my taxes and take care of that so we can get all of our tax things done at least you know another another week or two a little over a week and uh, January will be over with, so we should have all of our et tax information by then. Hopefully we should have. Anyway, enjoy your week. I hope to see you soon. Love you so much for watching my channel and coming to hang out. Don't be afraid to come hang out on Twitch or Discord. I love doing that. Um, I'm looking to do a movie night. I don't know if I'm going to do it on uh, Thursday nights. Thursday nights and Monday nights, or or possibly a Saturday afternoon matinee. Um, we'll see how things kind of work out, but we're talking about it. If you have an opinion, come on over and let me know. All right. Love you guys. See you. See you soon. Bye.